Hey guys, Sean Lentz here from Appalachian DIY, and today what we're going to be doing is installing a communication device for EKM Metering's Omnimeter Pulse V4. Alright guys, what we're going to be doing today is installing a communication device into our Pulse V4. Now if you missed the video of us actually installing this into our electrical panel, go ahead and check out the description below for that video. So installing a communication device is super important and it's going to be extremely beneficial to some of you guys. So go ahead and check that out at the end of the video when we briefly discuss that. But for right now, we're going to go ahead and jump into our installation. The very first thing that we're going to do is we're going to turn off our power in our electrical panel through our main breaker. If you watched our installation video, you'll know that we tapped into breakers on our electrical panel to be able to supply power to our omnimeter and also be able to read our voltage. So if we don't turn off our main breaker, we're still gonna have hot lines into our meter and we need to be able to work safely. So make sure that's turned off. So real quick, I'm gonna briefly describe how the communication system is going to work. We have these 485B baseboards attached antenna and that is going to get hooked to our omnimeter and it's going to transmit information. Now on the receiving end, we're going to have a push three with another antenna. So we need two total. And that's how they're going to communicate back and forth. For these antennas to work, we need to be able to supply power to them. And we have three options to do that. The very first being right through our omnimeter. There are ports on the top side that we can tap into to supply power to this. However, you need a USB dongle hooked into your computer and that USB dongle must be wired into your EKM meter to be able to get into the software to turn those ports in the top on. You can also turn those ports on by the push three once everything is set up. If that option is not going to work for you, we can go ahead to option number two. Right on the baseboard itself, there is a 12 volt barrel jack. All we need is a transformer and be able to plug right into here. That's probably the simplest and easiest way to do it. However, we need an outlet right next to our omnimeter. I don't have one, so we're gonna have to use our third option. And our third option is this power supply right here. Now this is gonna take in our 120 volts AC and convert that into 12 volts DC. And that's gonna be able to power antenna. Now what's really nice about this power supply is that it's gonna fit right onto our DIN rail right here next to our omnimeter. So I went ahead and put our power supply in our enclosure and just kind of moved everything down to the left hand side. We still need room in this enclosure on the right here for our antenna to go. So the next thing that we're going to do is we're going to hook this power supply up and we're going to be using lever nuts to do that. So I'll bring you in a little closer and show you how to wire everything up. Now that we have our power run up to our power supply, we'll zoom in here. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take twisted pairs and put them into the top here and run them behind our omnimeter. And also over here on our omnimeter, we're going to attach into our B negative and our A positive side for our information. The next thing we'll do is we will hook up our antenna. We'll take these little stickers off the back here and then we'll place our antenna right on the side. All right, I'm gonna take you on a really quick tour on how we have all of this wired up. So this wire right here, this is the one that's coming from our panel. We have it coming down into this bottom lever nut uh, terminal, and we have this second one going up to our power supply. You can see here, this is our neutral. And then the third line right here, uh, third line right here, this is coming over and coming up to our port 10, which is our neutral on our omnimeter. Now for our live side power supply, that is this line right here. This is coming from our panel. That is going into the bottom of that lever nut. And we have the second terminal coming up here 
to our live side on our power supply. The third line over here, the third one right here, is coming over and up to our port eight on our omnimeter. So that is how we have um, the lever nuts worked in here. Um, just makes it nice and neat. Um, there's no wire nuts or anything like that. So we're coming up here to the top. We have a V positive, V negative. Um, so our voltage in DC 12 volts is our positive is the orange line here to the left and our negative is the white line over here. Also for our communication side, we have B negative. So we have our white and then our A positive is our green wire. So now what we'll do is we'll hook up our twisted pairs to our 485B. You'll be able to see on our 485B that this top one is our power supply. So we have a negative and a positive. So that will be our orange wire. And then here on the bottom, we have an A positive, B negative. That is going to be our communication wire. so our power's in so we're going to now do our green twisted pair remembering our positive or a is our solid so here is our completed antenna with our power on the top and our communication on the bottom this is the way our box looks here. So the next thing we can do is go ahead and power this unit up. With it powered up, you're gonna be able to see a green light on your antenna, meaning that you have power there. And also here on the power supply, you'll see a blue light. Now that we have this end set up, the next step is to set up a receiving end. But before we go, I wanna make sure that you guys are aware, you don't have to use the antenna. If you would like to use a hardwire option, you can certainly do that. All you're going to do is attach into the A and B ports and run a twisted pair to your receiving end. Now you can run up to about 4,000 feet if you would like that option. So you don't have to use the antenna, especially if you're not able to, you can use a hardwire option. So right now we are in my house and our omnimeter is set up about 120 feet away in my garage. So right now we're going to set up the receiving end, which we are going to use the push three. So this is going to be hooked up to an antenna to receive the data from our omnimeter. And what this push three is going to do is take that data and push it to the cloud. So to set this thing up, the first thing that we're going to do is set up our antenna. This antenna is the exact same one that we used in the garage. So it has the exact same port. So what we're going to use is a twisted pair again and tap into the A and B port on here. Now they have a three pronged terminal that we can just put in our twisted pair to. And we're going to do the same thing just to keep it simple. We're going to use a solid green in A and a white in B. And for our terminals here, it's the exact same thing on our antenna. So once the wires are attached to both of these, we're gonna take this plug and there's only one that it will fit into and it is the three pronged plug. So that is how we're going to hook the antenna into our push three. The next thing that we're going to do to hook this up is we're going to power up this unit. Now this takes the exact same barrel connector that the antenna does. So what we are going to do is take a transformer. We have a splitter that we're going to put into here. So one of these barrel jacks is going to be put into our push three right here on the back. And then the opposite side is going to be put into our antenna. Right like that. So that is how we are going to hook these up. We have a DIN rail mounted right here to our wall where we're going to put everything and we're also going to mount our antenna right alongside of it.
So what we can do is we can take our antenna. We have the same 3M connectors that we had for the other one. We'll just take these sticky backs off. We will mount this antenna right here next to where our push three is going to go. And then we can go ahead and take our connection for our push three. And they just clip right into the bottom. And then we also have our barrel connector. And that'll put in right there. Now one quick thing to note guys, there is a power connection right here that if you didn't have a um, splitter or you wanted to power the antenna with this, there is a power outlet right here to do so. But since this is really easy and convenient, we're just going to do it with the barrel jacks. For those of you wishing to hook up your ethernet, you can do that right here. So for us, um, we'll take our other end and just plug it right into our router here on the back. That way we can be able to communicate with the cloud. So once you have all of your wires set up, go ahead and look up top here on your push three. You have three LED indicators. The very first one over here will be solid green. That is your power. It's indicating that your push three is powered up. This middle one right here, this is your internet. It blinks green every time a meter read is pushed to the cloud. So you'll be wanting to see this blinking on and off. The one on the right you'll see is blinking more readily. That means that it is reading um, from your Omnimeter itself. And that is set to read as fast as possible by default. So this one will blink pretty fast. Now that we have our communication set up with our push three, the next thing that we need to do is set up our software. So we're gonna go ahead and jump over to the computer and set it up now. Okay, so what we're gonna be doing is we are going to be going over um, software setup. So you receive this email um, from EKM Metering and it has all of the information you need. There's some important stuff. Uh, the first one right here is your master key. Um, this is for your uh, push. And it's going to how we're going to communicate with our system. So the first thing that we are going to do is we are going to come over here and do the ECAM push account portal right here. So it automatically put our key in here. I have my name, my email, and we're going to go ahead and put a password in. Read the terms and sign up. So we're going to get um, back into our email because we're going to get another email right up here. So we're going to click on this link right here. Sign in. So once we are in our account, the very first thing we want to do is make sure that we are communicating properly with our Omnimeter. So the very first thing we can do is go over here to last. This is gonna tell us when we last communicated with it, and it was a minute ago. And that's gonna happen about every 60 seconds. So over here on the left, these are our meters right here. If you have a whole bunch of them, you'll have a whole list here. We just have one, so we can go into here, and we can look at this right here also. So this is our good reads ratio, we're at 100. So this is telling us that we are at 100% for our reads. That means that we are just reading our Omnimeter properly. If this was at zero, then you would have a communication issue. Uh, the next thing we can do is go over here to display, and we can go ahead and just click on some of these things. Now this is what is going to show up on the actual Omnimeter. We can just go ahead and hit set. That's going to get confirmed then. So now all of these things that we have selected is going to be seen on our Omnimeter itself. Now this is the ekmpush.com. If you wanted to view some of these things a little differently, we can go up here to API Query, over here to a EKM Widget, and click on this link right here. Now this is going to take you into the EKM metering widget and this just displays things a little bit differently. It's not all of the numbers. It's a lot more graphs and things um, and you can get into um, like how your stuff is reading, uh, history. There's a whole bunch of different things in here. 
The other thing we want to show you is back here in our email is this Encompass I.O. So we'll click on this. I already have this registered. So we will go up here and click on this. And this is our meter right here. And what's really neat about this is the widgets. I really like this. You can select a whole bunch of different things over here to uh, have all sorts of things displayed. I really like this calendar. It kind of shows you what your highest days of consumption are. Um, and what's really nice about this in Compass is the billing. So we'll go up here to bills, billing settings, and we can go ahead and set this up to actually bill a tenant if we wanted to. So you're gonna put your price per kilowatt hour up here, and then go over here to credits and fees. We're gonna be selecting fees because we're charging. Tenant info, this is going to be who you want um, as your tenant, and you're gonna be able to put their email in here and send it right to them. So then your billing agent info, this is you as the owner. And then payment info, if you need anything specific, like say you only want cash or you only want check, you can go ahead and put those specifics right into here. And then our billing schedule, we just have it set to the first and the end of the month. And then just go ahead and click right here and you send your bill. It's super simple. So we'll save all of those settings and there you go. So that's really nice about this. Um, this is going to um, do your bills and stuff really easily. So Encompass I.O. is a total system that you can view things on and you can also do your billing from. So that's a huge benefit from that. The Omnimeter Pulse V4 also can meter gas and water. So what that means is that on the top of your Omnimeter there are some connections for pulse counting. So all you need to do is put a water meter in line with your water line and you can be able to calculate how much water is going through there. So you can also charge for water. You can have a meter in line on your gas system and also calculate for that as well. So you can do billing for your water, gas, and your electricity all with one meter. Now on top you will be able to have up to three components up there so you can have two water or one gas. It all depends on what you guys have configured for your setup. But you can run three different pulse meters from your Omnimeter in addition to running your electricity. So it's going to do electricity, water, and gas all in one unit. So it's a full encompassed unit with the software to back it up. So that's a super convenient thing to have. So if you guys have any questions with this setup, go ahead and reach out to EKM Metering. Their staff is phenomenal and they'll be able to help you out. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button and head over to Appalachian DIY for more videos. Thanks again, guys, and I hope to see you next time.